Hey y'all, this morning I'm going to talk about abuse. Make sure that you are not abusing anyone in any way. Make sure that no one else is abusing you. How can you avoid it? If someone is being abusive towards you, just walk away. Walk away. <laughs> Don't just stand there and take it. I will say I had issues with yelling at my ex for various reasons. I probably mainly was frustrated that he wasn't helping me very much with our baby. <clears throat> so, anyways, that caused me to get mad at him and yell at him. What he should have done was just walk away. <laughs> That's what I would have done. If someone was yelling at me, I would just be like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna go to McDonald's or something. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go get you a vanilla shake. That's going to cheer you up. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. If anybody's ever yelling at you, do that. Drive to McDonald's, get them a vanilla shake. They will not yell at you the rest of the day. <laughs> Seriously. Y'all know that's true. Um, yeah, the more ice cream you have, the more happy you are. Seriously. Could have been that I had headaches. I mean, I've always, like... I've always had a hard time with headaches. Especially in the house I'm living in. Not to complain too much, but there's a tree in my backyard that I think I'm allergic to. So my eyes are like burning here all the time. And I get headaches often. So anyways, I'm sure that's one reason I was grumpy with my ex. But we can all make excuses. Anyways, so watch out for verbal abuse. If you don't like it, clearly tell the person it's not okay to yell at me. You know, if you're mad at me, can you just like write me a letter and say all the things that you're mad about? Or this is why some couples get marriage counseling, so that they can discuss what they're mad about without yelling. Writing a letter can help. <clears throat> Anyways, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck not getting yelled at and good luck not yelling at other people. Um, my mom had a problem with yelling. She did kind of a lot. She kind of a lot yelled at me. So that's where I learned it from. And wherever, whatever our parents do, inevitably, we're going to end up doing, whether we want to do it or not. Okay, um, physical abuse, obviously, <laughs> I don't know why so many woman, women put up with this, but for me, like, if any guy hit me even one time, first of all, I would call the cops. I guess I have a story to tell. My ex-ex was um, Jewish, and he was obsessed with this cat. And he couldn't find his cat one morning. It was like 3 or 4 a.m. And he was lo looking around the house for his cat. Couldn't find it. Finally, he found out his cat was on the window ledge in the shower. But the cat didn't feel like meowing to say where he was. So he thought that I had thrown his cat outside. And he was freaking out because it was an inside cat. And he was like, he's just going to... Yeah, he probably just thought he would never see his cat again. So he literally put his hands on my throat... And in the corner, he cornered me. There wasn't much pressure, but still, it definitely freaked me out. So, obviously, then I called the police, and they arrested him. And he was there overnight, and then his mom bailed him out. And then he had the audacity to text me and say, I'm coming home, baby. And I was like, no, you're not. I was like, you're going back to your apartment. Um, anyways. So, crazy stuff like that happens. Men, don't ever think it's okay to physically hurt a woman. No matter how mad you are at her. Whatever. Just go, like, punch a pillow or something. That's what my mom used to tell me and my brother to do. Just go punch a pillow. Or go for a walk. I think because men have such high testosterone, they really... Every man sh will... Obviously, either he should be working, like, a physical job, or he should be going for an extended walk every day or a run to get that testosterone out, to get that anger out, you know. Women should too, but men especially need to because of their testosterone. So anyways, yeah, the more physical exercise you get, the less inclined you are to be physically violent, so that's good. There was a quote that I saw online. It said, the more the bed shakes, the more peace there is in the home. So men really need the physical exercise of sexual intercourse and if they don't get to do that every day they're gonna get violent so keep that in mind ladies it's really important that a guy has sexual intercourse every day do they always get that it depends on the woman that they're with 
that's why it's important that women stay looking desirable so that the man will actually want to do that with them every day. Anyways, but if a man gets that every day, then usually he stays calm. So that's great. Okay, so that's verbal abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. Mental abuse would be like name calling, like you're stupid or you're trash or you're ugly, stuff like that. Obviously, you should never say any of those things to somebody. Um, it's very hurtful. And if you say it to them, they're probably going to say it to you. So if you don't want to hear criticism from others, don't criticize them. Don't criticize your mate's body. Try to not criticize anything about them.